I can tell. I you had your hand in the whole time. I saw it. Right. I should have told you, okay? I should have told you. Stop. I screwed up. Stop. I screwed up, all right? I screwed up. You did. Tony? Yeah, you did. Listen, it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. It's too late for me. It's not too late for you. Just get out of here. Okay, I'm Tony, walk away. I'm serious. Quit. I'll go in there and tell Salerno. I'll square it away with him. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna fire Vinny's Aaron Boy, and you're gonna square it away with him, Danny. You don't have the juice anymore. You don't have the juice yourself. Don't be so sure, Tony. You know something? You never answered me. You never answered me. What in the hell are you doing here? What are you doing here? Looking for you. I had a feeling. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Oh, no, you didn't. You were just as surprised to see me as I was to see you, buddy. There's no doubt about that. No. <laughs> Don't you dare tell me that you're the reason for this, me. Are you the one that Vinny's expecting? Are you? It's business, Tony. Really? What kind of business, Danny? Just get out of here, will you, please? You want in. You want back in. Damn it, answer me. Answer me! Do you want in? Do you want in? That's who I am, Tony. Danny should be sitting down with his former associates in Queens right about now. He told you? Yeah. And we told you. We don't keep secrets from each other. You know, Michelle, once he starts talking to these guys, he'll have hit the point of no return. So now's your last chance. My last chance for what? To get out of here. Take your son and get out of here before it gets ugly. Give Danny one less thing to worry about. You're not, you're not going in there. Get off of me. Why, why, why are you crawling back to those guys? Why? I'm not crawling. Do I look like I'm crawling? Danny, you're a million times better than they are. You yeah. don't need to go in. So are you, Tony, but you're here. Why should I be any Because different? you got a wife and kid to think about, no, to protect. Tony. No, you do. Come you on. want Robert to grow up the way we did? It do wasn't you? Do you? so bad, Tony. You don't need this, Danny. You do not need it. You lost an election. Who cares? Suck it up, run Tony. again, gentrify another neighborhood. No. It doesn't matter. Do not. Do you? Do not get back to bed with these guys. Do you realize how much of my own money I sank into the street and into my campaign? Huh? I'm tapped out, Tone. To get anything else going, I need some serious cash, all right? What banks are full. Cash on an ongoing basis. Construction and sanitation. Right? Huh? It's not enough. So live on less. At least you'll be live alive. Less. At least you'll be alive long enough to spend it, Danny. This is not this is not the real world that we're living in right now. You understand that? You make a mistake in the real world, they dock mm -hmm. your pay, man. These guys, these guys will dump you in the river. Do you understand that? So what? Am I supposed to run away scared, Tony? But not you? You know something deep down, Danny. I've always known my place. Yeah, and deep down I've always known mine. It's through that door. It's not. Oh, no, it's not. I'm late. I still think you should get out of here. But obviously, I can't stop you. No, you can't. And you can't stop me. So. Think again, Danny. The only place you're going is home. Playing Tony. Going to Michelle and Robbie. Get off it. I told you. I'm late for a meeting inside. Do you mind? Is there a problem, gentlemen? Yeah, yeah. Actually, there is, Vinny. Your associate here seems to think I'm crashing your party. Tell him I'm an invited guest. It looks like you had a little trouble convincing him yourself. Well, I've uh, spent a lot of time lately being an upright citizen. He didn't buy that I have some business with you. I guess I wouldn't buy it myself. <clears throat> that how it was. Yeah, that's right. Stow that. I did invite Danny. He asked if he did address the group. Surprised to see Tony working for me, Danny? To be honest with you, Vinny, there's not a whole hell of a lot that surprises me anymore. <sighs> cool as ever, aren't you, huh? I like that. Come on. Everybody's waiting.
As I told you, our old friend here requested a meeting. Exactly why, he didn't say. But I think he wants something from me. You hit a bear witness and counsel me if need be. Go ahead, Danny, the floor is yours. All right. Uh, well. First, I, I want to thank all of you for agreeing to meet with me. Uh, okay, all right, here it is. I, uh, I've made some mistakes. One of them being not knowing my place. I, uh, reached too high and got slapped down for it. In other words, you try to buy that election and you get caught. Yeah, well... Now you're taking a hit. Doesn't matter, Vinny. It's over. I'm out. The other guy's in. Nothing's gonna change that. Yeah, well, how come you're not in jail if things happened? Because they can't lock me up for rumors they can't prove. I mean, as much as that smug SOB of a DA, Jeffrey O'Neill wants me on ice, it's not gonna happen. I can guarantee you that. Look, Danny, I like you, okay? But let's not mince words. You wanted this shiny new life of yours. What a nasty past you turned your back on. So let me ask you what everybody here is thinking. Why are you back here talking to us? This week? What are you doing here? You don't work this shift, do you? No? Oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, the phones have actually been pretty quiet. How's Danny? Oh, he's fine. He's fine, and Robbie and his two pet turtles are fine too. Everything okay at home? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? I'm just asking. Right. Michelle, I, I don't mean to pry, but I'm just following up. Oh, oh, you mean because of my one-night pit stop at the house last week? Yeah. Yeah, well, we haven't talked to each other since then, and you can't blame me for being concerned. You were pretty upset that night. Well, you no, know, I didn't come back the following night. I went back home. What, what's been going on? <laughs> nothing, really, nothing. I mean, it was one night. It's no big deal. It's totally over. Good. Listen, um, there's no reason for you to hang out if you don't want to hang out. I mean, oh. we don't need three people to work the phones. No, I don't mind staying. <laughs> don't worry about it. If you and Danny have to go somewhere... No, I said I'd stay. I mean, I feel like making a contribution, you know? Runs in the family, right? Uh-huh. Oh, come on, you guys. It's not that far enough of a concept to you. I mean, that's why we all work here at the hotline, isn't it? To make a difference. And I just feel like I need to fill my time constructively right now. I mean, God knows there's a lot of people out there with problems. And wouldn't it be great if we could make some of those problems go away? Seems to me you've been a little mixed up about what you've wanted, Danny. One day it's the legit world, the next day it's ours. The complete opposite of your cousin Tony here. He's always known who he is and who he belongs with. I know who I am, Vinny. I just, uh, I got confused. All right, I tried to uh, change my life. I thought that there was something else out there for me. Something better than the family yeah. business? Yeah, I was wrong, okay? I was wrong, that's why I'm here. All I want now is to come home. If you can find one. Well, uh, I'm hoping that you would help me out with that. Vinny, you've done damn well by me. Everybody in this room has. Each one of you got a nice chunk of the Santos interest when I pulled my family out of the business. Are you saying you want your end of the business No, back? no, no. I know I can't do that. What's yours now is yours. I screwed up, and I am more than willing to pay for that mistake. So then, what do you want to do? I want a chance to prove myself again. In other words, you need a job. Yeah. I need a job. I got a family to support again, Vinny. I am formally 
requesting an opportunity to work for your organization. And not on my terms, but on yours. I will do anything, whatever you want me to do. Anything at all. I just want to come back. Vinny, I make this request with all due respect. And I just ask that you show me some in return, considering the past association we've had. Comments, gentlemen? How long will you be willing to work the bottom? I think you're going to want to be at the top. The very top. It's worth thinking about, Vinny. Wait, what is this, guys? I thought I had some friends here. I haven't said no yet. We haven't heard from everybody in the room. Tony, what do you, what do you think? Do we make a place for your cousin or not? 